Welcome to the Salamanca Emergency Bus Evacuation Drills, COVID style. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go over the rules on the school bus. And as you can see up here, we have all the school buses have the exact same rules. And the rules can be found on all the buses of the exact same place. Also, the district calendar has the rules on the school bus. The only rule that has not been on here is the rules of all face masks are required on bus. And you are to get your temperature taken before you get on the bus. Okay, as you can see, the seating right now during a non-pandemic year, our seating varies is arranged as the driver prefers but most of the drivers do the youngest to the oldest in the back unless needed the oldest need to be in the front uh, during extra curriculum activities and field trips we do as drivers like to keep the last two seats empty due to the fact in case the bus gets rear-ended it's safety and there's extra cushion so no students are harmed during your rear-ended accident. Um, so yes, yeah, so leaving the last two seats open, two roll seats open, it is more of a safety for the students. The seatbelts on the bus are to be worn if the student is four years old. If a student is under three, they are to be wearing a five-point harness. If a student is over four years old, it is the preference on the parents. Okay, so one of the other things that we want to touch base on is boarding a school bus at the school. This is more geared towards the Seneca and high school students. Please remember that when buses are coming to the bus loop, don't be running, no horseplay, no pushing, shoving, yelling at the windows, and be aware of where the buses are uh, so that way it's safe and you're safe. Now we are going to take you through the emergency equipment and exits on a school bus. Becky is going to show you the different exits that we have on a school bus. You have your exit windows, and the buzzer is to let you know that it's working and that you have an emergency exit open. You have the roof hatches, and you can pull them up like that and unlatch them, and they do make the noise also. You have the side door. When you lift up the handle, it will be also, knowing that it is open. As she goes back to the bus, in the way back of the bus, there'll be a red box with our triangles. And that's why when we're trained, we have to pull a weight of 120 pounds for our physical endurance. So more of the safety part of the school bus is this latch is the emergency release for the door. You would go like this. And then you would be able to come down here and push the door open. So that way the door can open when the bus is disabled or broke or... We also have our fire extinguisher. Also have our first aid kit. All buses have those. And all buses have a seatbelt cutter. Okay. So now we are going to demonstrate if the bus driver has a medical emergency and is unable to drive. And Jen Smith, who is one of our monitors on the bus, is going to demonstrate how that works. First, 
you're going to go ahead and you need to remove the leg of the driver off the gas pedal so that the bus can slow up a little bit. Second, you're going to pull this emergency brake. The bus will come to a complete stop and it will be hard. After that, you're going to I'm go sorry. ahead and um, take the radio and you're going to radio for help. It slides off. Now there's a button on the side of the receiver here. You're going to squeeze it and hold it in. You're going to wait for a chirp to go and then you'll say who you are. You say, this is Jennifer and we have a driver in need. We are on bus 132 and we need help. That's all you need to say. If you know where you're at, that is great, but don't worry about it. Each bus does have its own GPS and you will be able to get located. Okay, now we are going to show you how to not evacuate a school bus in an emergency. So, I have two demonstrators here who are going to demonstrate the way you do not evacuate a school bus. Ready? Fire! Oh my! Oh, no! Come down! Come down! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! So as you can tell, that is not the way you exit a bus during an evacuation. They first, they were pushing and shoving. Second, they ran back to the door. They did not even wait until the bus driver gave the instructions. And they jumped out of the bus improper, which made one of the students fall and get hurt as she jumped. Okay, so now we are going to show you the proper way to do a bus fire drill evacuation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we need to evacuate the school bus. So please, you guys start here. Go ahead, go back. We're going to go use the back door. Please do not take anything with you. Listen for directions. You got to sit down and scoop. And the bus driver is always the last to get off, so that way we are making sure all the students are off and safe. So now we are going to conclude our drill. We want to thank you from the Transportation Department for taking the time of watching our COVID-style winter evacu evacu evacuation. We also want to encourage you to watch the videos that were done during school bus safety for the guidelines of COVID-19, the danger zones that are around the school bus, and loading and unloading the proper way. We all hope you have a marvelous holidays and best wishes.